Welcome students, relax, sit back and listen to our math class. In today's class we are going to learn the introduction of trigonometry. Trigonometry means, trigon means triangle, which means uh, measurement. So it is all about measurement of triangles. In trigonometry, in most of the cases we will deal with right angle triangle. Consider a right angle triangle A, B, C. This triangle is right angled at B. So this side opposite to this right angle is known as hypotenuse. So always remember the side opposite to the right angle is hypotenuse. If you are taking theta angle here means, if you are taking theta angle here means, then opposite side is this one. Opposite side. If you are on the adjacent side is this one. So, in a right angle triangle, opposite side and adjacent side is based on this theta. And hypotenuse is always based on the right angle. So, the side opposite to this right angle is hypotenuse. And theta, the side opposite to this theta is opposite side. Adjacent to this theta is adjacent side. Now, consider another right angle triangle. Here, C, D, E. So, the side opposite to this right angle is hypotenuse. Now, I am taking theta here. So, the side opposite to this theta is opposite side. The side adjacent to this theta is adjacent side. Right. In triangle, sorry, in trigonometry, there are basically six trigonometric ratios. They are sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent. So, sine can written as sine theta, cosecant as cos theta, tangent as tan theta, secant as secant theta, cosecant as cosec theta, cotangent as cot theta. Right. Next. Now consider right angle triangle. A, B, C. This is right angle at B and theta is here. So, hypotenuse is this side. Hypotenuse. Opposite side is this one. And adjacent side is this one. So, now we are going to write the basic six trigonometric ratios. So, sine theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse. So, the side opposite to this theta is BC. BC by hypotenuse is AC. Next, cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, the side opposite adjacent to this theta is AB. Hypotenuse is AC. Next, tan theta. Tan theta. Opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. So, the side opposite to this theta is BC. Adjacent to this theta is AB. Next, cosecant theta. This cosecant theta is reciprocal of this sine theta. So, hypotenuse by opposite side. Hypotenuse by opposite side. So, hypotenuse is AC, opposite side is BC. So, reciprocal of this, AC by BC. 
Next, secant theta. Secant theta. Secant theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, reciprocal of this cos theta. What you will get? AC by AB. Next, tan means cot. Cot is reciprocal of tan. Tan is reciprocal of cot. So, adjacent side by opposite side. Adjacent side by opposite side. So, AB by BC. These are the basic six trigonometric ratios. Sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Cosecant theta is reciprocal of sin. Secant is reciprocal of cos. Cot is reciprocal of tan. That is sin theta equal to 1 by cosecant theta. Cos theta equal to 1 by secant theta. Tan theta equal to 1 by cot theta and vice versa. Okay, these two are reciprocal of each other, these two are reciprocal of each other and these two are reciprocal of each other. Now, in this problem, find the six trigonometric ratios of the angle theta using the given diagram. So, we have to find the six trigonometric ratios. The diagram is given, hypotenuse value is 25 and based on this theta, this is our opposite side. And we don't know our value of adjacent side. So first we have to find the value of this adjacent side. We can find this value by using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem we know that hypotenuse square equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, hypotenuse square is AC square equal to other two sides are AB square plus BC square. So, 25 square equal to 7 square plus BC square. So, 25 square minus 7 square equal to BC square. 25 square is 625 minus 49 square root of equal to bc because when the square goes to this side it will become square root so 625 minus 49 15 61 so 10 11 12 13 14 15 6 this is 11 5 5 7 so 576 equal to bc square root of 576 is 24 centimeter equal to bc so, adjacent side value is 24. Now, we know the value of adjacent side to 24. Next, we can find the value of the 6 trick ratios. So, sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So, here opposite side is for this theta opposite side is 7 and hypotenuse is 25 answer will be 7 by 25 7 by 25 sin theta next cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so we know the value of adjacent side is 24 hypotenuse is 25 so, 24 by 25. Next, tan theta. Tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So, opposite side is 7. Adjacent side is 24. So, 7 by 24. Next, cosecant theta. Cosecant is reciprocal of this sign, so hypotenuse by opposite side. Hypotenuse by opposite side. So automatically reciprocal, so 25 by 7. In a similar way, secant theta. 
secant is reciprocal of this cos. So, hypotenuse may adjacent side. Cos reciprocal, so 25 by 24. Next, cot theta reciprocal, so adjacent side by opposite side. So, adjacent side is 24, opposite side is 7, so 24 by 7. These are our 6 trigonometric ratios. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos related to both school and college maths. Thank you.